ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the analysis of yolino tv i hope you well for more of watching this channel i'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow if you wish to support us just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like so infotrack has released a statement regarding what kenyans are feeling as far as william ruto's regime is concerned and from what was released by ambitha nobody nobody seems to be happy with this kenya kwanza regime in fact more than 65 percent of kenyans believe that william ruto is not delivering in as far as the high cost of living is concerned and as far as the cost of education is concerned and as far as joblessness uh, matter is concerned so kenyans have reacted through infotrack and told william ruto that it's not going to be business as usual in fact if you read the, the if, if you listen to the statement by the the, the ceo mbitha Mbithe, and you will realize that kenyans are not taking it lightly let me remind you that tomorrow there is going to be a session where William Ruto is going to, to, to engage uh, Kenyans through, I think, the joint media. And it's expected that during that interview, he will be asked so many questions and he will tell people the agenda that he has had for this nation and what he has managed to deliver. But so far, if you look at that document that has been presented by Infotract, then that means there is nobody in Kenya who is happy with William Ruto's government. In fact, there is a percentage there that was issued about uh, what feel, people feel regarding the performance, the, the, the governors. People say that the reason why we have high cost of living is because of poor governance. And in fact, another uh, category of people said there is rampant corruption in this regime. I want to take you back a bit to last year. You know, when uh, these people were campaigning, they said corruption will be zero. It will not be tolerated. But if you look at the report that InfoTrack has released, it is as if say, corruption has, has hit the ceiling. That is what we hear. I want to first of all share with you the report that uh, the InfoTrack has released before we can go on with this analysis. So first of all, just take a moment and listen to this video. Kenyans feel the country is heading, then it also helps them understand what priorities they need to be making. And so we ask Kenyans, could you kindly mention the three key issues that concern you as a Kenyan that you'd like government to address as a matter of priority? What three things do you want your government to address today? Number one will not surprise you. Number one mentioned by 65% of Kenyans is high cost of living. So Kenyans are basically saying the country is headed in the wrong direction. 89% say it's headed in the wrong direction because of high cost of living. And we want that high cost of living addressed as a matter of urgency. The second thing will also not shock you that 37% of Kenyans want unemployment addressed. So that is the second thing that they want President Ruto and his government to address. And the third thing, which is close, so I'll mention them together, number three, is the quality and cost of education. Um, for many of us who perhaps have either directly or indirectly people that we are supporting in the education sector, we know that public schools today are asking for money. Your, your kids will not go to high school or primary school in you know, government or county schools without paying. In fact, many of them have been given ultimatums that you cannot join the new term before you actually pay. These schools are actually meant to be free, correct? So because of the lack of capitation, you're finding that people, especially in rural areas, are having to struggle with finding money to ensure that they can take their kids to school. Yes, from that video, ladies and gentlemen, and that is InfoTrack CEO releasing that statement. So what do you make of that statement? You know, one of the agenda of this Kenya Kwanzaa regime that they've been boasting about 
is the agricultural economics. And we talk about the food security aspect. And they've been boasting about how they were going to teach Uhuru Mugia Kenyatta and Raila Molodinga agricultural economics. And how they are going to systematically lower the high cost of living. But that report gives almost 70% of Kenyans who believe that regime, this KK regime is not delivering as far as the high cost of living is concerned. They are not delivering. So, the same report also tells us that this issue of unemployment, again, another factor to be looked at. So, this regime is not delivering. That is what uh, that report exposes. So, I can as well say that uh, the InfoTract has successfully exposed this KK regime. One of the things that, that InfoTract cited is the poor governance, bad politics. And I think this issue of bad politics, I agree with InfoTrack because the truth of the matter is that these people, whenever they go to campaign, to to rallies, we can say that they just been campaigning. Whether they go for those campaigns, it is always Raila Amoloding. It's the agenda. Raila, in fact, is it, you, you might want to think that maybe Raila Amoloding is the manifested manifesto they had. These days, Rigadiga Chagwa, Kazi Anafanya Kubwa ni Raila. In fact, he is the one who said that Kazi Amba Anayo Kubwa ni Raila Amoloding'a peke yake. I mean, he wakes up, sleeps, goes to do research. All the research he does is just Raila Amoloding'a. I don't know why the man is so obsessed with Raila Amoloding'a, but we also agree, we understand that he is the only person who stands between him and his presidency. That is, should uh, he vie for presidency in 2032 or maybe thereafter. So the only person he sees as a, a hindrance to his career is Raila Molodinga. So he hopes to fight Raila Molodinga always, always, over and over again, trying to badmouth him, trying to, to call him names. He, all these are meant to make sure that he earns some respect. But the only problem that Rigad Gachagwa does not understand is that every time he talks about Raila Molodinga, he loses a point. Because Raila Molodinga is loved and respected here in Kenya especially. So he loses a point every time he talks about Raila Molodinga. That is the reality, ladies and gentlemen. So do you think InfoTrack is telling the truth in that report? Because personally, <laughs> I think InfoTrack has just successfully exposed this KK regime and going forward, what are going to William Ruto is tomorrow addressing the nation uh, in, in the much publicized big conversation. And in that big conversation, he's expected to talk about so many things. And he's also expected to give Kenyans his, his scorecard. Of course, Kenyans have already given him his, his scorecard through InfoTrack. So we don't expect much from uh, William Ruto. So I think reactions that are going to come from that interview will simply put William Ruto in his place. That's what I make of that interview that is very much waited for uh, tomorrow. So, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think is going to happen now that InfoTrack has given Ru William Ruto the scorecard and 65% of Kenyans don't believe that William Ruto can deal with this issue of high cost of living? So, if the 65% believe that he cannot, then I think now it is very, very much important that these people join hands with other Kenyans so that they can deliver this promise but uh, they will already only be doing trial and errors this issue of fertilizer right now is just a simple case of trial and error still doing the trial and error i don't know when is that that is going to be but so ladies and gentlemen i like to raise my case there but uh i like to urge you to please just uh, if you're a first time viewer or regular viewers don't subscribe to this channel please take a moment and subscribe to this channel give this video a like and don't forget to hit the notification bell and for those people who have subscribed to this channel i want to say this channel that i'm forever grateful for your support without you this channel cannot grow so until you catch up again please stay safe and stay blessed